Welcome to the homework for lesson 27. This is module 6 of first grade. Okay, please get your name on there first. And here's our problem solving process for word problems. It's read, draw, and write. RDW is our memory key for that. So it's read the word problem. And when I read it, I like to summarize it like a short two or three sentence story, which is usually not that hard to do uh, as long as you can read it. And then uh, draw a tape diagram or a double tape diagram and label and then uh, write a number sentence and a statement that matches the story. So here's an example of a tape diagram without we'd call that a double tape diagram because there's two pieces of tape in it and it, don't try to think too much about how to draw whether it's a double tape, di tape diagram you should draw or a single tape diagram you should draw just don't and, and a lot of times it holds up first graders um, because they want to solve everything in their head first and then draw the picture. Don't do that. Just thinking comes after you draw the picture, really. Just look at it and you just draw what you read after you've summarized the story. And then you figure out what you need to solve and the picture is like a graphic organizer for your word problem. Eight students lined up to go to art. Some more lined up to go to music. Then there were 12 students in line. How many students lined up to go to music? Well, this is kind of a weird story because students are going to different specials from the same classroom at the same, which doesn't happen uh, in my school or any other school I've been in. But we have a line. Some students are going to art. Some students are going to music. So I guess I'm just going to draw the line. And there are art students at this end and there are music students at this end and let's see what do we know there's eight art students and we don't know how many lined up for music uh, but we do know that the whole line from end to end there's 12 students in the whole line so this looks just like a number bond really where you've got a hole and two parts and you know one of the parts but you don't know the other one so that tells me i'm going to take the hole 12 and subtract one part and I'll find out what the other part is. 12 minus 8 is 4. So that tells me that four students lined up and I'm going to box that because that's what I need to know. That's the question mark. So four students went to music. There. Peter rode his bike five blocks. Rose rode her bike 13 blocks. How much shorter was Peter's ride? Okay, so Peter and Rose are riding their bikes. And uh, Rose, Rose's ride was longer, so Peter's ride was shorter. And we want to find out what is the difference. How much shorter was Peter's ride? Okay, so Peter's five blocks. There's Peter, five blocks. I'm just reading it. And drawing it. Peter rode five blocks. There's Peter, there's five blocks. That's it. I'm not even thinking about this yet. Rose rode her bike 13 blocks, or here's Rose. Now, tape diagrams, we want to have our endpoints kind of match up a little bit so we can just look at them. If Rose's is 13, it's got to be longer than the five. And I'm not measuring it or anything, it's just 13 is just more. Okay, so how much shorter is Peter's ride? Well, Peter's ride is obviously shorter. You can see it. How much shorter is it? It is, you no. Know, here, this is how much shorter it is. Because Rose's is longer, so his is shorter. So now I'm looking at, this is what I have to find out. Here. And now the whole thing of Rose's ride is 13. And now I can see that there's two parts to this 13. And let me get try to get this 13 out of there. There. So that whole thing is 13. Well, we know this part we know because that's the same as this. So that part is 5. The whole thing is 13, and I have to find the other part. That's the shorter. So this is the difference between 13 and 5. 13 minus 5 equals 8. And you can solve that by counting up if you want. Uh, or you can use it to, uh, you can use take from 10 to solve that.
Uh, and we just need our statement now. Peter's ride. was eight blocks shorter. And if you don't know the blocks that we're talking about in this, and maybe I should have mentioned that when I read it, I just didn't think of it then. Uh, a block is not like a block that you play with here, uh, like a wooden block or something like that. A block is the distance of a, a street between two streets that cross it. Lee and Anton collected 16 leaves on their walk. Nine of the leaves were Lee's. How many were Anton's? Okay, so Lee and Anton are collecting leaves, and we know some of them are Lee's, and we need to find out how many are Anton's. All right, so the whole thing, this is their whole collection. Lee and Anton's collection together, L and A together, the whole thing here is 16. Now, some one part of this whole collection is we know nine of them are Lee's. So let's say that this at this end, there are nine of them that are Lee's here. And now I got to change this because the 16 is not the 16 is the whole thing. And now when I leave it like that, it looks like it's only one of the parts. So the whole thing is 16. And I have to fix this end now, too, because it's now I'm labeling this end here is Lee's and this end is Anton's. Anton's we don't know, so that's my question mark. Don't know that one. So I have a I have a hole and I have a part and I need to find out the other part. So I gotta subtract to find that out. 16 minus 9 equals, and here again I could use take from 10, or I could just count up from 9 to 16. Put a box around that because that's that's the number I'm looking for to figure out what fits where that question mark goes. And so that's 7 leaves were Anton's. The team counted 11 soccer balls inside the net. They counted five fewer soccer balls outside of the net. How many soccer balls were outside of the net? Okay, so they must have all been shooting at, at, a, at a net. And some of them went in and some of them didn't. So these are the ones that are... Just reading the first sentence, these are the ones that are inside the net. There's 11 inside. And there are fewer soccer balls outside so outside is going to be shorter piece of tape because it's fewer it's less those are the ones outside over outside and let's see if there's five fewer here then that means this side has five more Five more and then it means that 11 is now a hole the all of the balls inside are 11 uh, and I have to find out when I find out this missing piece here it'll be the same as that there and I'll so I'll, then I will know how many were outside of the net so I have a hole and a part, and I have to find the other part, so I'm subtracting 11 minus 5. And we could use take from 10 here for that to solve it, or just count up 6. The 6 is what I'm looking for, because I knew about the 11 and the 5. So, 6 soccer balls. were outside the net. Julio saw 14 cars drive by his house. Julio saw six more cars than Shanika. How many cars did Shanika see? So Julio and Shanika, here's my summary, they're watching cars drive by Julio's house. And Julio 
saw 14. So there's Julio, J, and he sees 14 cars. Um, he saw six more than Shanika. So if he saw more, Shanika saw less. There. And we don't know how many she saw. Um, but we do know that Julio saw six more. So that's going to be this much more. And we know that that more is six more. And now this part here isn't 14. The whole thing is 14. So I'm going to change where I'm going to fix that and make sure it shows that the whole thing, these two parts. And when I say two parts, I know there's the six that I boxed in in green. And then there's this part here, right? Which I don't know, but it's going to be the same as what I have to find out, Shanika. It's going to be the same as Shanika. So if that's 14 minus six, and you could use take from 10 here to figure this out, or you could count it up, that equals eight. I'm going to box that. Let me make, go back and check some of my other work and make sure I boxed in all of those answers because a lot of times I forget to do that. There it is. I boxed it there. I boxed it there. I boxed it. Okay. Yay me. I remembered. Okay. Good to go back and check that. Uh, and now I just need my answer statement. Uh, Shanika saw. It's about how many Shanika saw. So Shanika, and I can spell her name because it's written right up here in the question. saw eight cars. Some students were eating lunch. Four students joined them. Now there are 17 students eating lunch. How many students were eating lunch in the beginning? Okay, so some students are there in the beginning. They have some joiners. And then we have a total of 17. So I'm going to think. There's all the students, right? This is going to be all 17. All 17 eaters. Some of them are joiners. And some of them were there at the beginning. Um, we don't know how many were there in the beginning. Right? Because it's asking us how many. So that's a sum. We don't know how many sum is exactly. But we know that there were four joiners. And a total of 17. So we have to find, we have a whole and we have a part. We have to find out the missing part. So that's 17 minus 4 equals 13. And you could count that up, which would be a little tedious counting up from 4 to 17. Or you just might see that this 10, 7, you might just see that you can take uh, 4 away from the 7 ones. You still have. The 10 left and three more ones. So you can just think of it that way. Or you might just be able to do that in your head. So 13 students were there or were eating lunch in the beginning I guess I could have written that all down here and made it all the way across but that's where I just started and that's how I squeezed it in